Welcome to BloxCAD. BloxCAD3D.com is a free design tool where you can invent and build your own 3D models. You can register an account for saving and sharing projects, and then click Create Now to start building. To make a model, you'll select blocks from the menus on the left and assemble them together in the workspace. To see your model, click the Render button in the right corner if you want to export a file for 3D printing, you can use the Generate STL button. Happy building! To start our snowman, we're going to grab a sphere from the 3D Shapes menu and make the radius pretty big. To get our second sphere stacked on top, we're going to grab another sphere block, make it a little smaller. If we hit Render, we'll just see this sphere inside of the other spheres. We only see the outer sphere. So we're going to need to grab a translation, click these together, and move this sphere higher. Maybe 15 units for now. We'll see if we like that. Maybe we want to bump it up a little more, so maybe we'll go up to 20. We can make these spheres white by grabbing a color block from the colors menu, putting these both in here so that we get a white snowman. Then I'm going to copy and paste one more time so that we can get our top sphere. We'll do 10 units this time. Again, we might have to guess for now for how high we want this. We can check it out and see what we think. Maybe we bump it up a little higher so that we get our three body parts for our snowman. To keep our code nice and organized, we can right click or double click and add a comment to this code. So we can call this the snowman body. Then we can right click or click and hold if you're on an iPad and collapse these blocks so that all of that code gets stored together. If we need to make any changes, we can go back and expand, but for now we'll keep it collapsed so that we have more space to make a hat with a cylinder. So I'm gonna start with a big tall cylinder, and I know I'm gonna to have to move it way up to get it on top of this snowman. I'm gonna make it centered so that it's around the z-axis. We're gonna move this pretty high so that we see a cylinder it's a little too tall right now and it's not moved up high enough. So I'm going to make its height 2 and I'm going to keep moving it up, maybe 40 this time. I'm going to change its color so that we can see it a little more clearly too. Once we've gotten the brim of the hat somewhere we like it, I'm going to do a little more copy and paste. This time I'm going to add the top of the top hat. So I'm going to make this cylinder a little skinnier in radius and much taller then we'll move it up into place so that it sits on top of the brim of the hat. To add a carrot nose, the first thing I'm actually going to do is turn off the code for the body of the snowman so that we can really focus on the carrot nose that we're working on. I'm going to get a cylinder, make it pretty skinny, and I'll keep it the same height for now. If we look at this, it's not the cone that we want a carrot nose to be. So I'm going to unlock these two radii so that we can make the bottom radius something big like 2 and the top radius 0 so that this will come to a point. I'm going to make it orange and then we're going to need to rotate it so that it would stick out from the top of the snowman's face. I'm going to rotate it around the x-axis so that it spins this way. 90 degrees because that's how much we want it to turn. And now we have to use a translate block to get it onto the face of the snowman. You can see I've now gotten the carrot nose in place by first doing that rotation of 90 degrees and then translating up 35 millimeters along the z-axis and then negative 10 along the y so that it came out this direction. Check out some other snowmen that people have made 